Well, here's one of the Steelers that made all that possible. Four-time Super Bowl champion and a proud member of the Steelers Hall of Honor. Donnie Shell joins us now. Donnie, how are you? Thanks for joining me today. Oh, I'm doing great. Thanks for having me. Uh, it's, it's my pleasure. Uh, let me start out by having you tell people what you're doing now. Well, I am uh, retired, but I started the Donnie Shell Scholarship Foundation, which uh, raises scholarships for students at my alma mater, <coughs> excuse me, South Carolina State University, whose parents can't afford to pay for their tuition. Uh, that's that's terrific. Um, are you still living in uh, North Carolina? No, well, I'm in I'm in South Carolina. I live right outside, about 20 minutes south in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Okay, so that's close to Charlotte, right? Mm-hmm, close to Charlotte. I used to work with the Panthers for 15 years, so uh, it's a nice, easy commute. Let's talk about you know your induction to the Hall of Honor. You were uh, in the initial class along with LC, um, and, and I wonder what that meant to you, Donnie, at that point. Oh, I was, it was, I was elated. Uh, I, I, I couldn't believe it when I heard the news uh, that I got uh, in the in the Hall of Honor, the Steel Hall of Honor, and um, it just means a lot to me because uh, I spent my whole career there, uh, you know, on, on the football field and also in the community. So um, it was really a special honor for me. I'm wondering if that uh, – first of all, I should ask the question – are you disappointed that you didn't get inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton? Um, and and if so, did being uh, installed in the Steelers Hall of Honor sort of ease the pain of that a little bit? <laughs> uh, that's not my attitude. Uh, I'm always uh, kind of happy good look, go lucky guy, and and uh, think things always happen for a reason. No, uh, <clears throat> I wasn't discouraged. You know, I can. I've done all I can do uh, for me as a player, and it's not up to me anymore. Uh, but uh, I don't let things discourage me. I uh, just try to keep working and try to keep helping people and um, and keep the right attitude. So you mean at this point you can't go out and tackle Earl Campbell again and get people's attention <laughs> like you once did? You know, so many people remember you for that hit. Let's go back to that. What do you remember about that play? Well, I, I remember he had 80 yards rushing in the first half. If he, <laughs> if he had continued on, we would have lost the game. <laughs> oh, he was something, wasn't he? Oh, uh, he was amazing. A great guy, man. Five's biggest. Um, oh man, big, biggest this column. I'm looking at my porch now. <laughs> around, <laughs> around, around column out here on my porch, and he had thighs just that big. And um, I, I'll tell you a quick story if I can sure. about him. We was going down, we was playing uh, Houston down in uh, in Houston, and uh, I saw, I met Earl um, in the Pro Bowl uh, um, during the off season. So we was going down to play them, and he came over to the locker room, and Mel Blunt and I was, uh, the, uh, Mel Blunt walked up, and he was talking, but he never did say anything. So Mel kept looking up and down. I wonder what he was doing. So after Earl left, I asked, I said, I said, what were you doing, Mel? He said, uh, hey, man, I was looking for a soft spot. A soft spot to try to hit it. <laughs> Not many of those. You stay away from no. those thighs. Man, they were like they were like train pistons, uh, that guy. Um, do you still follow the Steelers? Oh, absolutely. Yes. Yeah, they're, 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 and they're also sponsors. Uh, one of my sponsors, I'm a, mm. a, I have an annual golf tournament that raise, raises money for scholarships for those for those students uh, that I was just describing, and they're one of my sponsors, and um, and, and, and always encourage me to, uh, to continue to do good things in the community. You know, the reason I asked the question, Donnie, um, I'm just wondering if that connection between you uh, and the Steelers and Pittsburgh, and if you will, Steelers Nation, if that ever goes away. I mean, is is that always been a strong bond, even though it's been a very long time since you played and were a Pittsburgh Steeler? Oh, oh, absolutely. I, I think you know, um, and people remember you more for what you've done on the on the field because that doesn't last very long. But I think it's also it's a carryover of what we what we did in the community up there, and 
an example that the, the chief and Dan said, and now Art uh, in the community, uh, they set the example for us to go out and and, um, and help one another and help others that, that in need. And um, you know that's that's part of uh, part of the reason why I started the Dunnishell Scholarship Foundation. And I saw a need at, uh, at my alma mater. Uh, that that the the young people were very smart, but uh, their parents couldn't afford to pay for the tuition. And I, I can identify with one of them because I was one of them. I came from nine brothers and sisters, and I didn't know how I was going to get to college. I know I always wanted to go, but I didn't know how how I was going to get there because they didn't have the money and funds to uh, to support that. But I ended up getting a scholarship, uh, athletic scholarship, uh, to go to school. You know, speaking of uh, which, uh, you know, you're wondering back in those days, of course, uh, uh, last year, uh, the great Bill Nunn was inducted into the Hall of Honor, unfortunately, about a year after he passed away. And what a great mm-hmm. guy he was. And, of course, he uh, was so, you know, uh, really a forerunner in going to schools like you went to or that Mel went to or that Dwight White went to. Uh, and I'm wondering, with scouting being more sophisticated now, uh, I, do you ever think back and say, you know, if you had played today, then you wouldn't have been a free agent. You would have been drafted by somebody. <laughs> There's a lot more exposure, and I think it's because that uh, we had a circle black colleges like Mel and I and Dwight. Uh, we set the uh, set the example in the in the league. We went and we made it, and uh, and sustained ourselves uh, for a long period of time, and and now. Uh, the scouts are going back. It doesn't matter where you played it now. If you can play, uh, they're going to find you, which is uh, which is a great thing. I think Bill Nunn had a had a great deal to do with that. Yes, he did. He started the um, uh, going back in the historical black college and had a great relationship with uh, most of the head coaches in his at historical black colleges. Well, I kind of feel like uh, Bill and you should be in Canton uh, because Bill was a trailblazer um, in, in in exactly that that regard. When you stop and think about your your Steeler career, uh, obviously you look around at all the Hall of Fame guys, all the guys in the Hall of Honor. Um, uh, you know that's the first thing. There was so much talent there, but was there something more than that, Donnie, that made the team so successful? More than just the physical abilities of the guys who were just fantastic players. Yeah, we we had we had great we had great people who were great athletes, but they were yet they were great people, and I, and, uh, I don't think the public saw that side uh, in uh, us spending time together, and um, uh, I think that really uh, united us. You know, where it was in Bible study, or where it was somebody having a meal after the game, uh, after the game that brought us together. And I think that has a lot to do with our success. We. We know each other other than on the football field, and I, I think that relationship um, still stands even now. Um, you know, I know I'm coming back up for Mel Blunt's uh, youth home mm-hmm. uh, fundraiser on April the fifth. Uh, Mel's coming back down for my tournament on April twenty eighth. So, and I, I'm gotta go. We got to go to John's um, uh, over in June and down in Alabama. So I think that bond carried over um, beyond football, which is a great thing. Yeah, we we ho- hoping to talk to to Mel uh, as early as next week in this segment we're doing as we prepare to uh, consider the class of 2019 for the Hall of Honor. Um, I've often thought in my years in Pittsburgh that teams that win championships um, are closer knit. Uh, teams that win championships have a tighter bond that never seems to go away. I mean, I'm sure that, you know, players who played with each other, you know, still friendly, but the fact that you dominated for that decade, does that make the bond even stronger? Yeah, I think so. And I think, I think uh, we didn't have free agency. I think that really helped also. Yeah. <clears throat> and I think what, excuse me, I think what, what Bill Nunn instituted uh, that a lot of teams didn't do that, that the Seals did that he would he would uh, match uh, veteran players with rookie players uh, when they came in, and, and I don't think uh, a lot of teams are doing that back in the early seventies. But what that created is created a bond, and and you um, someone helped you when uh, helped me when I got to the studios, and I had a chance to sew back in, into their lives when I when I came uh, back in, in training camp, and one of the guys was, was Tony Dungy. He was my roommate. Well, is that, I, I, that's interesting. Um, is that 
uh, they just paired you up as a roommate or they just kind of you're like uh, you're the big brother to this guy. I mean, you know, just keep an eye out for him. Um, uh, how how far did it extend? Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what Bill said. I, I, I told me, I said, man, I said, why are you putting this rookie in my room? I don't even know him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he said, oh, he's, 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 um, he's an all-American quarterback down there, and he was converted. He's a good guy. I know his family and stuff, but you, 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 he needs to be with you because you, you were, you were, you were helping. <laughs> well, um, you I helped said, him pretty well. Okay. Yeah, he's done okay for himself. So uh, I didn't realize yeah. that Tony should have mentioned you in, in his Hall of Fame acceptance speech, I think. Um, how big a role did well, I, Ch- I, I introduced? I introduced him. Oh, that's right, you did. I'm, yeah. well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. That's that's enough. That's right. Um, that's that's all you needed. How big a, a part did Chuck play in all of this? Oh, he was, he was, he was a very integral part. Um, he, he was uh, our leader, and uh, we looked up to him. And um, you know, uh, he always had the answers. And he always had a great feel for our, for our team and knew us. Um, from the standpoint of, of, of players and, and our ability, and um, and he always challenged us, but he always had a good feel for uh, <clears throat> for the pulse of the team and knew exactly what to say at the right time. When you stop and think about it, was it merely a matter of like Belichick is always credited with being a step ahead, and I'm not saying that he's not in terms of strategy and all that stuff. And with Chuck, was it more of what you just said, his leadership ability and understanding players and his teaching ability, than it was, let's say, not that he didn't make them, but, you know, game day strategies, adjustments, those kinds of things? Oh, yeah, I think, it's, I, I think it was all that, especially the, the teaching ability, because he, he believed in uh, getting coaches who are great teachers. And you can only learn if you, all, if you, if you, if you talk. And uh, a teacher can teach, but a great teacher will really care about you and uh, more than just on the football field. And that's what Chuck cares about. He cares about us more than on the football field. He said, this is just a stepping stone, guys. you got to prepare for your life after football and your life after, uh, after football and, and, and why you're doing and why you're playing football. So all those things he taught us, and we had uh, extremely great, great uh, coaches that were great teachers. Uh, and innovators, uh, I think Bud Carson was way ahead of his time. Mm-hmm. And some teams are still running some of the, the, the defense we ran back in the 70s. But uh, I think they were great teachers and great people persons. Um, your life's work. Uh, and, and everybody in Pittsburgh knows what, what, what that means and, and uh, what Chuck meant uh, when he said it. Uh, last, Donnie, um, uh, there are so many nominees it's and everybody on the list, and I'm a member of the committee. Uh, everybody, you know, belongs. Um, it's just a matter of when they're going to get in. Um, is there a guy that you would like to see added to the Hall of Honor this year, 2019? Oh, I, I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> it should have prepped me. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> um, um, maybe a guy you oh, played yeah. with. Yeah, I, 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 um, I'm not prepared to answer that question uh, oh, because okay. I haven't really thought thought it through, and and I don't want to say any, any I don't want to uh, say anything that, uh, uh, being quick judgment or saying something I really haven't thought about. Okay, that's that's fair, and I'm sorry for springing that on you. Um, there are certainly okay. guys, uh, teammates <laughs> that you had who they'll get there, um, they'll get here. But I know the committee wanted to get you in, both you and LC because we all thought that you should have been in Canton and the way this thing is set up by Art II. If you're in the Hall of Fame in Canton, you automatically are in the Steelers' Hall of Honor. And we kind of felt like this was like put in Alan Fanica last year, and I'm disappointed that yeah. he didn't get in uh, again. But the, the Hall of Honor, it's, it's a wonderful display. Uh, will I be adding a new great class in 2019? I uh, hope you're there for the induction, Donnie, and uh, we'll see you when uh, Mel convenes his annual event. And, again, I can't tell you – uh, how happy I am that you're in the Hall of Honor and how much I appreciate you being with us today. Oh, thank you very much. I, I appreciate you guys having me, and uh, go Steelers. You got it. Okay, they're going. <laughs> Thanks, Donnie. Thanks. Take Bye-bye. care.